Hey guys, Cody Soltis here from ConsciousLove.org here for your monthly readings for December 2015. It's almost into New Year's, thank God. I'm going to keep this intro short so we can get lots of readings done with this battery. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed and the Angel Heart Sigils deck by Stuart Pierce, the companion to Angels of Atlantis. Um, so my readings are kind of on pause. If you guys want personalized readings, you can still submit the form. Just know I'm not going to get to you for a while. I think I'm going to change it so that everyone just gets a vo voice recording reading because it's a faster way for me to just be recording, send, record, send, instead of having to type or <laughs> having to make a video and then edit it and then wait for it to convert. Audio files are easy. So that's what I might just be doing for all of you, but despite your requests for other things. If any of you are um, deaf or hard of hearing, um, we can find a way. I can learn sign language. I want to relearn sign language because I knew it, and it's so expressive and passionate. And I'm sorry, I have a thing for Niall DeMarco at the moment, and I hope he wins. I don't watch those shows until there's a marathon on, then I can't stop watching. And uh, yeah, just come on, universe. <laughs> so um, let's get <laughs> into these readings for all the individual signs. Love you guys. Hello, Gemini. Hi, Gemini. <laughs> um, it's cold out here, and there's a fire in my house, and like the fireplace, <laughs> and it's so warm, but I came back outside to be private and to talk to you guys, so you better be grateful, okay? So, uh, I also went to the gym yesterday for like hours, and I'm ruining it today with Oreos and candy. Bad, bad. So, we have one card from the Angel Heart Schedules deck, which is kind of our overarching theme, more so our primer discussion. Um, everything's going to connect back to it, but it could be a lesson, it could be just something that we um, spiritually need to be talking about. Um, but really, in terms of primer, it's like it's getting us ready for the conversation. It's getting you into the state of mind that you need to be in to be making the connections and the associations you need to be realizing, oh, this is what the message is about. Um, we have three cards, kind of doing the um, the heart, the strength, and the soul. So again, it's the emotional context of where we are now. Um, the strength is kind of our guidance and our challenge to overcome. But again, it's what we're strong in. It's what we, on some level, already have the strength to do. It's just the universe is giving us a situation to either prove it to ourselves, or to strengthen it, or just to do it. Um, and the last is the spiritual lesson we're learning, the kind of end result, um, the reasoning behind everything, perhaps, uh, a spiritual perspective at least. Um, and it kind of is the where we're going, but I just don't want any of us to think that, though yes, this is the where we are now, where we're going to go, and how we're going to get there. It's not beginning of the month, end of the month, and middle of the month, or whatever or do this to get this. It's not that kind of predictions in some in ways. So, to start off, we have um, Archangel Raziel in the um, production position talking about humility. Um, hold on. Okay, so I'm getting reminded, Gemini, that we are the, the twin sign where we kind of have two sides. And I'm, I'm seeing that we're presenting one side to people and we're keeping another side close to ourself and the one closer to us is hidden from the rest of the world but it's kind of more the authentic us um but we're having difficulties believing that the, the real us is kind of appropriate for not even appropriate um Though perhaps that's how you're that's how you're wording it appropriate like it's not appropriate for the real me to come out it's not appropriate um for me to act the way I want, the way I really, no one want to say want. Um, the, what I'm trying to say is that this part of you that's hidden um, is part of you that's too humble, as in not humble at all, but too low self-esteem. Um, instead of seeing yourself in the positive, correct light, not too high or too low, um, this is very difficult to seeing yourself in the way that you need to be seen, respectively. Um, and I wouldn't say that it's not a part of you that's true, because I think both sides of you are you, like that's just part of your nature. Um, but there is something to be said about, you know, trumping our signs and maybe harmonizing a little bit that yes, we do have 
two aspects, but they don't have to be two identities. We don't have to not be our, we can't, we don't have to not be our full selves um, in different situations. I'm kind of seeing it more so now as maybe you act one way with this group of people and act completely different with other people. And it's like, those are two very valid, or maybe it's more than two, maybe it's three, maybe it's four, I don't know. They're all very valid aspects and portions of your identity, of who you are. But it's kind of weird where, you know, I really want to talk about philosophy with these, with my, I don't know, my math friends, but they don't, or like these people don't get these things I talk about, but these people, you know, my, my, my more artistic friends, they don't get like the intellectual stuff, even though they're really artsy. Some of them aren't, I don't know, some of them are just different, so they're more my fun friends, or this or that. Kind of those things where it's like, I'm just feeling segmented in a, in a way. Um... And it's not that you, you're unhappy with that you have all these aspects, it's that you just kind of wish that they can all be more incorporated into one coexisting uh, life. Or maybe all those different, you don't have to feel like you're in different worlds all the time, different spheres all the time. You could just kind of meet in the middle and let everyone know that all the other sides exist. And it's not even that you're trying to hide it, it's just taxing. It's just a little, a little annoying, a little stressful that we're spread out in that way and we just want to be feeling that we're all of ourselves and that you know maybe they can start mingling maybe I can actually start having all these friends be all the friends and so, or whatever or are all these different groups it, it's really more so about you needing to be not compartmentalized as much as you are not so much as integrating all your friends or whatever so the current yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And this will connect back to it. Um, our current emotional state, where we are now, we have ender never-ending story. Um, if you look really close, there's a heart in that um, time thing that says it's not focusing on it. Um, love me, and it has the yes, no, yes, no, yes, no all around it. Um, and we have a very, very sad fairy on top who just looks morbidly depressed. Um, and that's kind of the the, the feeling I'm getting um, with being tossed around in all these different spheres, it's like, do any of you love me for the whole me? Because none of you are seeing the whole me. You're seeing me act a specific role in front of you. Um, and it's not that I want all of you guys to be friends, it's just I want to know, do you like me just because of this role I'm playing or this part of me I'm showing? Which like, yes, it is me, but it's not all of me. Don't take that part of me and characterize it into being my whole being. And I've been, I've been there, trust me. Um, yeah, especially if you're in college. I, I've been like that in college, where they just, cause everyone's not clicky, but they're all in their departments, they're all in their majors, and it's like, they are very like-minded people. Um, and maybe if yours is kind of in between genres, so to speak, it's, it's difficult to find a place where you feel completely understood. I don't think anyone in those cliques even fully understands each other, it's just that they assume that they do, because they do have a lot of similarities together. So... Okay. So your, your challenge and your strength here, they're really saying, is to be calm and just be here and now. Um, you don't have to be too active, just kind of stay rooted in that one place that you want to be and just be like, no, I'm going to be here. Um, and let people experience that. Instead of you bouncing all around, just stay here. Stay now. Do it. Just do it. Um, I don't suppose you're worrying too much. It's just, you can easily just stick a, s a spike in where you want to be in the center of all these different worlds and l let people come to you and let people experience these other things and let people see the multiple aspects of you. Cool. So, last card, I love it. Serendipity. All about luck, but also about like divine timing, um, about coincidences, about things being meant to be. And this is very... Hold on. Um, be just remembering, even though we're a little upset with this feeling fragmented, everything happens for a reason, um, and you're, you're learning this lesson, um, that it's, it's okay that you're segmented, because you're gonna stick your spot, perhaps, you're gonna learn to adapt, you're gonna learn to 
make everyone see you for the who you really are, and that's going to be a benefit for you and for them. To really just bring your mind and attention to the the benefit of your action. When you take the action by correcting what it is that you intuitively feel wrong, even though it's hard to communicate, um, you are benefiting everyone. Everyone. Okay, you're creating a situation. You're helping co-create a situation in the universe where everyone can learn and grow. And that's just the most important thing that they really want to say. Because I don't sense that you're like morbidly depressed about it. It's just more like an irritance. Um, yeah. Cool. Stay humble. Be yourself. Humility means just be true to who you are and see yourself in your own true light. Um, I should probably move the camera angle so I can get more sunlight so the camera will actually focus on me. Okay. Oh, cool. Batteries charged a lot more than that. Okay, I'm rambling. I love you guys so very, very much. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, whatever. Um, I hope this spoke to you. So, I love you guys very, very, very much. <laughs> You're beautiful. Namaste. Have a fantastic December. Okay? Hang in there. Because I've been there. Let's chat. Bye.